Hello everyone! <laughs> I'm gonna get this one of these days. Hello everyone! Hello everyone! Welcome back to Dubious Engineering. La Vie Verte, the Green Life, have very kindly sent me an RFID blocking wallet. And uh, this is, uh, this will stop people from, well this is actually a box, but, <laughs> but um, this wallet will stop people from stealing money from you as you're walking down the road. So let's find out whether or not it does what it says on the tin. Okay, so this is my contactless payment bank card. I've stuck a little bit of blue tape over there so that my wife can't find all of my credit card details. What I'm going to do is pop that in there. We'll go over the shop, see if we can buy something by using our wallet. I'd like to buy some of those, if I may. Awesome, oh, thank you very much. Can I pay contactless, please? Yeah. Do you have to go tap on that one? There you go. Thanks very much. No, no joy. All right. Let's pop that. I'm doing this single-handed. Let's pop that credit card That's out. Joy. Come on. One two. Look at that. Two. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> So anyway, I'll do a bit of research on this because it's sort of interesting the way things work. What I am happy about is the fact that this bad boy does actually work. Um, I was able to buy cider. Happy days. In the box, a little bit of silica gel to stop things from uh, stop things from getting too moist or too damp. The wallet itself comes carefully wrapped and carefully wrapped again a lovely little bag uh, that could use for some other things in the future and there's the wallet doesn't smell like leather but uh, that's no biggie okay bits of card in here to separate everything out yeah okay cool oh and bits of foam in here to uh, yeah okay excellent and they've got their little, uh, their little tag in there, La Viver, La Viver, <laughs> the green life. So yeah, more of those little bits of card. All right, so it's all, it's all very flexible. It all feels very flexible. There's no big lumps of metal in here to create a, a Faraday cage or anything like that. Uh, credit cards in here. Um, cash and paperwork in here, maybe more cash and paperwork in here. You've got a little zip pocket here for you to put your, your coinage in so you can stick coins and you know little bits of stuff in there and more card holders here and here. So in summary is this RFID blocking wallet useful? Well yeah <laughs> it holds your cards and your coins and all that kind of stuff. Um, does it work? Yes, it clearly does. We've seen that as, uh, as the shopkeep allowed us to demonstrate just now, which is very kind of Luke. Thank you very much, Luke. Um, the question on everybody's mind, is the RFID blocking wallet useful? Well, if you're in a big city like London, New York, Paris, and all of these places where there's loads of people that might potentially have you know, a piece of technology that they could bump into you and, and try and steal your money from you by using the contactless payment method, then yeah, it is sort of useful. Um, where I live, maybe not so much so. There's not that many people here really. And um, yeah, I don't think many people have got the kind of technology to be able to steal your money from you directly yet. But it's a cool thing to have. The wallet's quite functional, so I think I'm gonna go with it. I think I might actually start using this as my wallet. Cool. Anyway, this has not been a paid advertisement. I've not been paid to make this. Uh, review. Um, they did send me the product free of charge, which is very kind of La Vie Verte. Um, and obviously, we'll make sure we put some links in the description down below so that if you decide that you want something like this, then you're welcome to uh, to get on and, um, and investigate. As always, thanks ever so much for watching. Two big, fat, hairy, juicy thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to click the bell. This is YouTube, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Cheers.